The name's Corduroy. Shot Corduroy. Special detectives my aim. Inserting myself inappropriately into situations that do not require my presence is my game. And these are the stories of my many investigations. Picture in your mind a bar. The average run-of-the-mill sort. CD characters, old peanut shells littered across the tables, and the distinctive aroma of nicotine, and improperly wiped butts. Good barkeep, I do believe I shall order your finest liquor is schnapps, with the lemon twist, don't be stingy on the candied corns. The bar was packed to the brim tonight, as per every other Friday night, at around 11 p.m. The air was thick, the ale rancid, and the women burly, my sort of place. But I wasn't here merely to take in the atmosphere, or try to pick up a gal, goodness no. I was here on special assignment, or rather, on the lookout for a suspicious and seedy fellow, a lecherous and shady man by the name of Well hello there sexy lips, HMM, the what now? I was sitting towards the back of the bar, and I couldn't help but notice, is that a corduroy jacket you're wearing? Why yes, it is. The name's Corduroy, Shot Corduroy. I am a private detective in this gone aware town, and I am on the lookout for a former associate of mine. Former, you say? As in the sort of fellow you wouldn't involve yourself with now? You hit the nail right on the head, sweetie cakes. Could a downtrodden fellow like me buy a beautiful relatively young looking lady such as yourself something to drink? Oh well how kind of you. Yes, I'll have a cerebellum blaster 5000. Don't be stingy on the candied corns. My god, it was like we were a match made in the celestial cosmos itself. I quickly ordered the ladies drink and we both began to partake in what appeared to be heavily salted nuts and rat droppings. So what say we ditch this hole of a tavern and go back to my place for a special surprise, HMM? I had a creeping suspicion that the gal was nearly leading me on, the sort of feeling that creeps up through your intestinal cavities, past the pockets of foul-smelling aerosolized feces and poops up into your brain. HMM, is something wrong, babe? Did I say something to upset you? Or did I miscalculate your sexual preferences? After all, this is a go-both-ways sort of bar, honey. Huh? No. I was just deep in thought about psoriasis. Yes, that's right. I have severe bouts of inflammation on my scalp. It's extremely painful, and my homeopathic doctor can't seem to do jack shit about it, aside from rubbing frog droppings and print extract all over it. I see. My husband used to have the exact same problem. Sadly though, he is no longer with us. Oh, you have my condolences. Care for another rat bird? Yes, you see, he was a private eye just like yourself. Worked the dankest and dirtiest parts of the downtown streets, got involved with some low-down hooker, and decided to abandon me for her. Got a nasty case of inflammatory disease in the process. Gasp. It was at that very moment that a revelation came upon me. It was no wonder the woman sitting in front of me gave me such a strong sensation of deja vu. It was my own gal, Clarice Brumbleberries, the same gal who tried to take my life via a gardening hose. I realized that my libido had gotten me into a sticky situation, literally speaking. I had to make my exit and fast, not to learning my former psychopath of a wife in the process. Erm, would you excuse me for a moment, miss? I do believe I have soiled my pants yet again. That and I left the toaster on at home. And I forgot to take my dog out of his daily acid bath. And my bed linens are on fire. I'll be right back. Not so fast, Shod Corduroy. You're not going anywhere, at least not without a few hundred bullet holes strewn throughout you. That's right, baby. He certainly won't. Remember me, Shod. Ye gods. Charles Lily Kippers, I thought you were dead. Go, oh, my old friend, nearly. That driving me off the cliff. Worlds duct taped to the steering wheel and injected with a lethal spider poison nearly left me in the next life. But luckily for me, I was able to toss myself out the car at the last moment. I was then able to crawl through the coral reefs of the ocean, back onto land, and enter this very bar. 
fact is, I only have 10 more seconds before that arachnid poison you gave me kills me off. Well then, what the devil are you waiting for, Charles? Just shoot him already. In good time, dear. I've yet to finish my crumpets and tea, if you will. But wait one more minute. Ugh. Gat. Gull. Plant. Flat. Death rattle. Collapse. Die. Oh, for the love of all that is holy. I'll do it myself. It was at that very moment that with Cat, Lightning Flex's eye darted across the seats, latched onto Clarice's neck, and snapped it like a twig with one quick twist. I prayed that God would forgive me for what I had done, even though it was absolutely necessary. The sheer animosity of it all disturbed me deep down, in my intestines, where the aerosolized feces lurked. But I had bigger problems. The Empire Bar had become alerted to what had just occurred, and I was going to have a nasty mob situation on my hands in just a moment. I had to think of something fast, or spend the rest of my days in concrete shoes. To be continued, tune in on July 7, 2008, for the next exciting episode of Shot Corduroy Private Lips.